What's up everyone? It's your girl Faye. I'm back again kama kawaida to me as always. Uh, so I'm here with another comedy uh, video uh, by Kevin Hart. Uh, this one is titled uh, I'm a grown little man. Uh, his fear for animals. Uh, so I'm excited and uh, expecting lots of laughter because uh, it's Kevin Hart. And uh, I'm hoping that uh, you're going to take this journey with me all the way to the end. And uh, as always, I'll be giving my comments at the end, so stay tuned. But uh, before I begin uh, listening to this, I'd love to give a shout out uh, to Arnaldo for sponsoring this uh, episode. So Arnaldo, Asante Sana, Swahili for thank you so much. And uh, without further ado, let's dive in straight and see or rather hear what uh, Kevin Hart has to say about uh, I'm a grown little man, his fears for fear for animals. Let's dive in. I don't like gnats. I'm scared of gnats. <laughs> I am, you know what I'm talking about, little ass gnats, right? Because me and my mom, we was in the park, right? I was like nine years old, and I walked into a bushel of them. Like, you ever see gnats when they fly together? It's like a thousand gnats in a circle. Well, I walked into that shit, and I panicked. I didn't know. <laughs> I didn't know what to do. I stayed there. Like, ah! All my mom had to do was grab my hand and pull me out the net. <laughs> my mom's so damn dramatic, my mom made it worse because she started yelling. She, somebody get my baby out the net. <laughs> the net eat my baby. <laughs> Jesus Christ! <laughs> when I heard Jesus, I thought it was real. I thought, ah! <laughs> thought they was eating me. I punched this girl in the face because of a net one time. <laughs> then me and this girl was talking. We was having a real intimate conversation. While we was talking, a gnat flew by. Like, I was trying to get rid of the gnat, but she was so close, she caught the worst of it. Like, you know, we were talking. I'm like, yeah, baby, you know, you should come over after. She was like, all right, I don't mind. I said, well, look, I'm parked right here. Just pull around that way you can follow me. Said, yeah, matter of fact, I tell you, I, <laughs> I looked up. She like, oh, you didn't see that big ass gnat? Gnat tried to lay an egg on my face. It was a pregnant gnat. I know a pregnant gnat when I see one. Pregnant gnat tried to kill me. I'm just telling y'all what I know. I've seen it. It's all happened to me, man. I don't like dolphins. I'm scared of dolphins. I am. Me and my wife, we was in Maui, right? We in Maui. She's like, come on, baby. We should go swim with the dolphins. I was like, nah. I told you how I feel about them dolphins. She's like, come on, stop being a bitch. Let's just do it. I was like, don't call me no bitch. She's like, bitch? Man, whatever. Like, you know when you don't got to come back, so you just got to, mm, you stupid. That's all I had. I didn't have nothing else to say. So we go, we go, we get there. They got the dolphins in this tank. It's like eight dolphins in this tank, right? When I get there, I see this old lady on the back of a dolphin. I see this little boy. I'm like, you know what, babe? I might have been overreacting. Get the camera, take some pictures of me on the back of the dolphin. I was hyped, right? I get in the water. Ooh. I'm on the back of the dolphin. The instructor, he was like, as soon as you grab the dolphin fin, the dolphin's going to start taking you around. So whenever you're ready, grab his fin. I was like, all right, cool. I'm ready. As soon as I grabbed my dolphin fin, my dolphin went straight to the bottom of the tank. Like, he just, he just went down. So, so because I was scared, I didn't let go. I held on. Like, you know when you're scared, how you start to mentally create shit in your own mind? I was like, okay, it's obvious that I got to race this dolphin. He don't, he don't like black people. He done, he done cut a tail with a shark, bring him a black piece of meat. Something bad about to happen, right? So I let go, I get to the top. When I let go, I'm so scared, I start snapping on the instructor as soon as I see him. I was like, nobody saw fucking dolphin number eight missing? Huh? Huh? Y'all didn't notice I was going for like 30 seconds? He tried to kill me! He tried to kill me! I was mad, yo. I was so fucking scared. I was like, y'all see the old lady and the little boy, but nobody saw the black fucking swirl missing? Huh? Nobody noticed that the black dot wasn't going around? Y'all didn't notice that? He's like, calm down, man. Calm down. It's three feet. Just stand up. I was like, what? What'd he say? I didn't, I didn't even realize that I was walking and talking shit. Wow. <laughs> At the same time. Come to find out, I never even went underwater. What happened was, some water splashed in my face. <laughs> and I panicked. Oh, oh my God. I made it up. I made it all up. I was scared. <laughs> that must be so embarrassing. Just imagine that. Okay. <laughs> A little bit back. <laughs> made it up. I made it all up. I was scared. I never lied that fast in my life. 
He was racist, though. I know he was racist. You know how I know he was racist? Because when I got out the water, you know how dogs like, kick it, kick it. They be doing that, like, kick it, kick it. Well, he looked at me. He's like, nigga, nigga, nigga. And I was like, what? Blew my whistle in his face. I don't play that shit. He don't work there. I got him fired. No people. Uh, what else don't I like? Okay. I don't like ostriches. I'm scared of ostriches. For those people who don't know what an ostrich is, it's a big ass bird that's the same size as me. These birds are huge, okay? I'm in Nebraska, I'm doing a show in Nebraska. I had to pee, so I'm on the side of the road, I'm peeing, right? I get done peeing, I look to my left, it's a big ass ostrich looking at me while I'm peeing. He was standing on one leg like this. His body was facing this way, but his head, his head was like this. Now, I didn't know what it was, so I didn't say anything. My friend got out of the car, he's like, yo, what's that? I was like, I don't know. It's like a big ass man pigeon. I don't know. I don't know what it is, right? He's like, that ain't no man pigeon. I was like, it is a man pigeon. He took a pen, he threw an ink pen at it, right? As soon as he threw the pen at it, hit the ostrich in the chest. As soon as he hit the ostrich, his other leg came down. His body was still facing this way, but his head, his head was still like this. Now, when, it, when his leg came down, this is when the bitch started to come out of me a little bit. I was like, you know what? We should, um, we should, we should probably go get back in the car because, because we don't really know what that means. You know what I mean? Like that, that, that could be a sign. That could mean like you got 10 seconds to get the fuck out my face before I kill you. I'm gonna eat your kids. We don't, we don't know what he's trying to say. So let's just get back in the car where we safe at. So we get in the car. As soon as we get in the car, I start laughing. I'm like, ah, <laughs> you a bitch, man. Like, no, you a bitch. I'm like, no, you a bitch. I'm laughing, I'm driving like 30 miles per hour. I look out the passenger window, the ostrich was running 30 miles per hour beside the car. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. Oh, wow. He was hard assing at 30 miles per hour. Now, when I'm scared, like if I'm real, real scared, I get emotional. I'll, I'll start to cry if I'm real, real scared. So I got a little emotional, you know, I looked at my friend, I was like, why would you, why would you throw a pin at it <laughs> if, 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 we, if we don't even know what it is? No, 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 I'm not saying that. I'm saying like, I'm saying we don't even know what it is. <laughs> He's like, dude, stop bitching, speed up, speed up. I lied to y'all not, I started driving like 60 miles per hour. When I tell y'all that this ostrich was running 60 miles per hour, I'm not bullshitting. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. He was running so Wait a minute, I'm sorry to pause, but why am I feeling like it's all in his mind? Uh, like, uh, he's not moving, he's not even driving, maybe. Let's see, cause uh, that's what happened in the other incident, so let's see per hour. I'm not bullshitting. His body was still facing this way, but his head was still like this. He was running so you couldn't even see his legs. He was going so fucking fast. He was, he was just moving. And the reason why I was so scared is because he never looked in front of him. Like, he didn't care about a wall, another ostrich. He was just looking at us, but the way he was looking at us is like he was saying, when I catch y'all, I'm gonna fuck both y'all up over a pen, over a goddamn pen. And I was like, why don't you just apologize? You know what I'm saying? Like, because I didn't throw the pen. I was scared. That's the only time I ever shit on myself in my life. Ooh, I've never shit on myself, but I let go that time. I let loose. I really did, because I had, I had to go. Wow, I need to I see like more Matt. of that. I need to see more of that. I'm just thinking in my head, maybe it was all in his mind, just like the dolphin incident. Uh, so that was good. Uh, it's uh, I am a grown little man. He's fierce for it's fear for animals. So you can clearly tell from uh, the stories he fears uh, he fears animals. Uh, so that was a good one. I loved it and uh, yeah, so hilarious. Uh, so if you loved this, you know what to do. Give it some love and then drop a comment and share what. Uh, you loved about it. Uh, I love stories, so I really enjoyed this one. And uh, I really want to to hear what uh, happened after, like, uh, did they apologize? Imagine apologizing to a bird. But I'm thinking it's all in his mind, just my thoughts. But, uh, yeah, that is it for today. So, Arnaldo, thank you so much for sharing this. And uh, I look forward to hearing uh, your feedbacks in the comment section. And uh, if today is your first time here, 
karibu uh, which is swahili for welcome and uh, feel right at home don't forget to subscribe if you haven't and uh, if you'd love to be notified whenever i post a video which is uh, every other day consider to smash on the notification bell that is the, the bell next to the subscribe button and uh, you'll be notified every time i upload which is every other day and uh, last but not least if uh, you'd love to support this channel you're welcome to do so all you need to do is check the description below where you'll find the link to my patron community and you can be a patron member and uh, you will also find my paypal address and uh, you can have guaranteed requests through either platforms as well so once again asante ni sana and see you in the next one so until then your girl is out peace out and uh, bye